I am in the best mood ever. <sighs> it's so peaceful. Be fucking grateful. Why am I gonna cry? I'm so happy. I am not gonna be able to find a boyfriend. Windows are down, the vibes are up. Did I just have a full crying mental breakdown? Yes. I just don't know what to say and I feel like I'm awkward. <sighs> Hey guys, welcome to another vlog. It's actually me from the future because I never filmed an intro for this because I ended up breaking up my last video into two vlogs because they were both really long. So this one starts with the sunrise. It starts right where the last one left off. The last vlog ended with me saying, good night, going to bed, turning off the lights. This vlog is starting with me saying, good morning, and turning on the lights at 5 a.m. I just needed to like clear that up before you just see me fresh out of bed in the morning looking like a zombie. So yeah, enjoy another vlog. My eyes. I don't think I'm gonna wait this early in a very long time. I need to put my contacts in, I can't even see you guys. Um, I'm wearing literally my PJs. <laughs> I'm ready. It's actually a full Brandy Melville outfit with my Charleston top. It's not gonna be cold out, but for some reason in my head, if it's dark, it's cold. So, I'm wearing a zip up too. Hopefully we're getting coffee on the way, or else I'm not gonna be fun company. <laughs> okay, Kylie's here. I'm the only one in my entire building walking around at this ungodly hour. It's pitch black. Good morning. Bro, it's so spooky out here at night. I've never been here at this kind of hour. We're literally the only people like running towards us. We, oh, he's turning. He's coming up behind for a oh <laughs> Okay, it, he's, I think, walking away. Why, sir, how am I staying? Sorry for thinking you were creepy. He's just a dude on the walk. Oh god. <laughs> Us, our <laughs> questions that we're having right now, we're really having deep thoughts. <laughs> well, it's a talk. Don't you know why? Yeah, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Like, what is this? And let's get yeah. out of this now. <laughs> They're just so 1989. <laughs> Yay. I fear the sun is not gonna break through these clouds. It's okay. It's about the experience. What we've been waiting for. The sun is here. Everyone's making their way down. We're like chasing it. Oh my God. Oh, I'm so happy. It's finally here. I thought for sure we were like, Fuck. I know, I thought we weren't gonna get anything. Guys, people are so wholesome. Look at everyone just walking over here, staring. <laughs> just how this is how happy we are. We start skipping and cartwheeling and jumping for joy. <laughs> it's coming through the clouds. say good things come to those who wait because everyone else left and we sat there and we stayed and now we get a sunrise guys the windows are down the vibes are up we're on our way to getting breakfast and coffee I'm so excited. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm, guys I got a fat ass burrito I'm so excited I just got home. I am in the best mood ever. Like that was so healing. I think I'm just gonna open all my windows right now because the sun, do you see the sun like blaring through my windows right now? Oh my God. Sometimes life seems stressful and then you watch the sunrise over the ocean and you realize it's not that bad. Like the way the light is shining through right now is enough to make my entire day. So me and Kylie were saying, and this like turned out to be a lot deeper than we, than I even meant it to be. But when we first got to the beach, we were like, oh, like the sun isn't gonna be out. Like it was so cloudy as you guys saw. And we were like, the sun's not gonna be out, but like it was the experience, like it was fun. I'm glad we came. And then we were patient. And then it was the most beautiful sunrise ever. Like coming through the clouds, the birds were chirping. Everyone was walking down to the beach. Like it was just such like a wholesome, perfect, beautiful, morning and then as i was walking back i was like see the universe made it cloudy and gray and foggy so that we would expect to see no sun so that when it did come out we were even more excited than we would have been if it was beautiful the whole time and then i think there's a deeper meaning in there somewhere also all of this is before 8 a.m i was just listening to piano man by billy joel 
I need to go to the post office and like run a few errands today. I have my laser hair removal consultation. I have a meeting right after that. And then I think I'm gonna try to hang out with Abigail because I wanna see her before I leave. So I'm gonna text her. But yeah, that's my update so far this morning. I just got so distracted in my room. I literally was blasting music, having my own little dance party by myself. I'm in the best mood, I don't know. What I do need to do though is should I start packing right now for my trip? Should I go outside while it's sunny and walk around downtown? What else could I do? The possibilities are endless today until one o'clock when I have my laser appointment. It's 10.30 now. This whole time I thought my flight was on Wednesday and it's actually on Thursday. Good thing I just checked that because my friend Anna is flying on Wednesday on the same flight as me. So I was really excited. And then I went to check and my flight's actually the next day. So good thing I checked. So I don't really have to pack right now, but I also just made plans with Abigail to want to walk at sunset tonight. So do I really want to walk around right now and then walk again at sunset? I mean like kinda, yeah, but. What is in my hair? Not a string. Okay, remember how I was saying all those things I was gonna do that were productive and either packing, going for a walk or something? Yeah, well I didn't end up doing any of that. I ended up laying in bed and sitting on my phone. So it's time to go to my laser consultation. Just can't believe I just wasted the perfect nice day inside. But it's not a waste because I already saw the whole sunrise. I was just feeling really tired. But I took off all my makeup and stuff, but I'm a little bit late, so I need to go. I just got here. I was quickly reminded how much I hate unfamiliar situations. Not that this is gonna be like scary or anything, but I always get anxiety before appointments or like, especially because it's like a consultation where I might be like partnering and working with them. I don't know why I just get so much anxiety before doing stuff like that. Like, I just don't know what to say and I feel like I'm awkward and I don't know. I'm gonna leave you in the car because I didn't bring a purse. So I'll talk to you after and let you know how it goes. I don't think I'm about to get lasered. At least I'm not mentally prepared to get lasered. I also have a meeting in an hour and a half, so I, I, I actually don't know if I have time. I just finished, oh, my car's beeping. I just finished my consultation and it went very well and now I'm very excited. I'm gonna like post a TikTok when I go a come get laser hair removal with me because I know a lot of you guys have been asking and I'm really excited about the place I'm going to. I've heard very good things, so I'll make like a whole, I'll probably post on Instagram on my story too because I think I'm gonna kind of like work with them, like collaborate, but like I'll let you know how it is for real. But I'm getting full Brazilian and armpits when I go in like two weeks and then. Oh my God, that's the radio playing Pearl Summer. But I'm doing, my armpits and a full Brazilian. It was so funny. He's like, are you sure you never want hair to grow there ever again? And I was like, yes, that's literally my whole goal. <laughs> and I met the girl that's gonna do the laser and she was really nice. What was I saying? Oh, and then if I do the Brazilian and the armpits and I really like it, I'm gonna literally do my whole body. He was like, you can do from the top, your eyebrows down to your toes. And I said, okay. I'm gonna start with what I know I want, which is Brazilian and armpits, because legs are easy to shave. And then if I really like how it goes, I'm gonna add on legs. Now I'm gonna go home. That was so easy. Little update. All my meetings are done. That went very well. I just took a shower. I'm going to meet up with Abigail. We're gonna go on a sunset walk, and she's gonna update me. We haven't seen each other in like a week and a half. And so much has happened in that time frame. So much happens in so little time. So we both need to just have a debrief. I think I'm gonna eat something real quick and then go. Also, I'm wearing my new shoes. These actually aren't new. I bought them over a year ago. They're Adidas and they're blue and white. I've never worn them though because I never know how to style them and I always feel kind of weird and so I always wear my New Balances. But I decided to wear them today. Break them in on our walk. Why are they squeaky? Like, I feel so stupid because I, I sound like a cartoon. They sound like SpongeBob. <laughs> So peaceful. They're so cute. Guys, I just woke up. It's the sun rising and it's shining in my room and making everything pink. It's so pretty, why am I gonna cry? Oh my God. I need to wake up for the sunrise every day. Oh my God, look at my kitchen. Everything's pink. Oh my God, you can't really tell on camera. Oh my God. Look at my view of the sunrise over the water. How, how is this real life? Oh my God. Sorry, the traffic is so loud. I'm just so sad that I've been missing out on this every single day while I've been sleeping. I got woken up, my sleep schedule has changed because last night I fell asleep literally at like nine o'clock. Um, did I just have a full crying mental breakdown? Yes, 
I haven't had a good cry in a really long time, but I just cried because um, yesterday I was in the car. If I talk about it, I'm gonna cry again. Yesterday when I was in the car with Kylie, we were talking about our childhood homes and how other people live there now and that just doesn't sit right with me. If you guys didn't know, I grew up in New Jersey and the house that I grew up in, my parents like built it and I like grew up from the time I was born until I was a teenager or like a preteen and then we moved to Arizona. I was thinking about my childhood house and how last time I went there, I drove past like two summers ago, I tortured myself and I drove past it while playing Never Grow Up by Taylor Swift. And when I was driving past my bedroom, my old bedroom, it's not even my bedroom anymore, the light was on and I could see, not that I was being a stalker cause it's like upstairs, but I could like see someone in there and I could see that the walls were a different color. <laughs> We were talking about that and then she was telling me about how at her childhood home, her and her siblings like left handprints in the cement. A few years later, the house was for sale. So they walked, did a walkthrough of the house as an open house and their hands were still in the cement. <laughs> and we were both like getting so emotional about it. And she was like, have you ever heard the song, The House That Built Me? And I have heard the song, but I've never like listened to it. So I wrote down to listen to the song. And then for some reason I just remembered. So I just listened to the song. I shouldn't have done that. I literally just started hiccuping, bawling my eyes out, sobbing. And when I tell you, I mean this with my whole chest, not that I would want to move back to New Jersey or anything or like my hometown, but if that house ever went up for sale, I don't care what kind of loans I'd have to take out. I would buy it. If I was rich, the first two things I would buy, my childhood home and my grandparents' home that they lived in because we lived in the same town and they hosted like all the family parties and events and they had a pool and it was so fun and I love their house. And they recently moved like within the last year, which was so sad for like all my cousins and I, we were just so emo about it. And I also was thinking about that house. Oh my God, like my whole childhood is literally just these two homes that I can never go back to. That is so sad. And if you still live or your parents still live in the home you grew up in and you're like, oh, like I hate my hometown, whatever. Be fucking grateful. Be grateful because some of us don't have a home to go back to. So be grateful. That was my mental breakdown in the morning. But now I'm going to Target because I'm gonna get wax strips and we're gonna do my eyebrows. We need to do a little bit of a glow up before my vacation. So I think that's gonna start now. I think I'm gonna do my eyebrows today and I think I'm gonna go get my nails done because not to flip you off, but both of my middle fingers came off. <laughs> so I haven't gotten my nails done since like November, since my birthday. I've just been doing press-ons for the past like six months. That's not six months, that's four months. I'm so pissed. I think I'm gonna try this one because I'm too lazy to go somewhere else. Okay, I'm back from Target and I went to my P.O. box. I'm gonna do a Target haul and an unboxing in a second, but I'm literally hangry. So I need to make breakfast. And I'm also so excited right now because one of my favorite hobbies, you guys know, is making playlists. Last night when I was with Abigail, we were talking about songs and she sent me her Spotify and she also makes really specific playlists. So I'm having the time of my life stalking her on Spotify and listening to all her playlists and getting all new music recommendations. My windows are open, the vibes are great. Let's do a Target haul. I got a bunch of random stuff. Con pads. This is what I really needed to take my makeup off. Then I got these wax strips I've never used before, but let's hope that they're good. Got one of these little travel bottles to put stuff in. I'm going to put my micellar water in there. Shampoo, a mini to bring. Conditioner. Body wash. Face wash. <laughs> Hairspray. Dry shampoo. And I got this Burt's Bees chapstick that's tinted because I love using these when I'm just like going to the beach because my lips are translucent and I like to look like I have lips when I'm not wearing makeup. Okay, that's everything I got. But mostly everything just for my trip. And then we'll be doing this later. And now I'm gonna go take my toenail polish off in preparation for my appointment. While I was eating, I opened the letters I got. I just read all of them. From Charlotte, so cute. From Yara and from sammy i read all your letters thank you the little things you sent me look how cute these bookmarks are thank you bro my pile of cards from you guys is like this tall in my drawer <laughs> and then also in my p.o box stay this box which says it's from brooke montgomery which i already read her new release and i think that this might be the physical copy hopefully i didn't buy it i can't remember if i did but i just finished reading it on kindle unlimited so if that's what this is i'm gonna be so excited i'm so excited either way to get a package from her this is the series. The first one I read, I read it in a vlog. It was ex-boyfriend's dad. And then the second one that just came out, best friend's brother. She said that her daughter watches my videos. Hi, <laughs> that's so cool. <gasps> I only ride horses and your dad is insane. <laughs> 
Wait, I can never eat that. I literally want to frame it and hang it on my wall. Wait, this is so cute. Oh, it's long sleeve. Wait, there is so much in here. I'm like so overwhelmed and so excited. You know, I'm putting this on my fridge. Coffee, anxiety, and cowboys. That gets its moment up there. Oh my God, I don't have this one yet. This is the prequel I haven't read yet. And then this is the one I just read. Wait, let's go put them on my shelf. I think I, I might have bought this one already. Oh, shit. oh, I did buy it already. I'm too loyal of a fan. You see, I read it on Kindle Unlimited and I already bought the physical copy. Oh, maybe I'll give it to my best friend. She signed it. And then there's also like those little page inserts. <laughs> okay, I just changed real quick. Now we gotta leave for my nail appointment. Probably won't film in there because I'm so awkward every single time. I just finished in the nail salon. Guys, when they do the hand massage, I have to fight the urge for my eyes to roll to the back of my head. And why does it feel so good? Not uh, just regular white. I didn't get tips or anything. Um, I got dip. I think it looks really good. They did a really good job. That took really long though. I was in there for an hour and 50 minutes. But I got a pedicure too. I went to Ocean Nails and Spa in Mount Pleasant. If you live in Charleston, they did really good. So I'd recommend. This is my first time coming to this one. What should I do? <laughs> Taylor Swift just had to take the moment real quick. Oh my God, it says it's 76 degrees outside. Is that true? Oh, my phone says 72. Still. Okay, it's eyebrow time. I'm gonna test out these new wax strips. I always do my own eyebrows just because I had one terrible experience where I got my eyebrows like severely messed up by a wax person. And then I've never gone back since. I also made myself a coffee. I taught you how I make it in my last video. Guys, why does my voice sound like this? Like, I know I lost my voice at karaoke, but like, it's not coming back. I think it's getting worse. This is how you know my, I have no idea what I'm doing in my salon is not one you should take recommendations from. Because I heat up my wax strip with a straightener. Like, I know you're supposed to rub it together in your palms, but I feel like it never gets hot enough and then it hurts more. So I literally heat it up on my straightener. Then I push all my eyebrow hairs down and I just stick it like so. And then you can do the other side at the same time while this one's still hot. I don't know why I'm doing this like a tutorial. You should definitely not be following this like a tutorial. Then I let them cool down a little bit. I don't know if you're supposed to do that, but I do. Also, I just remembered because I was texting Kylie. It's Tuesday, which means it's beach walk day, even though we just went to the beach yesterday. We go every Tuesday night to watch the sunset. I literally measure my weeks in Tuesdays. I think I said this in my last vlog, but Tuesday is the day I look forward to the most. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Wait, these are so good. This is kind of gross if you don't want to see. Look, how satisfying. Every time my ice maker makes that noise, did you hear that? Every time my ice maker makes that noise, I think someone's breaking in my apartment. It happens like twice a day. Okay, ready? One, two, three. <laughs> Reveal. I want to listen to music, so I can't really film when I do that. I'm literally addicted to Abigail's playlist. I'm stalking all of them. I just love people that have specific playlists like I do. If you guys have really specific playlists that you think I would like, you should DM them to me on Instagram. And if the title catches my attention, I will be listening. One, two, three. Watching that body, you me. My eyebrows are finished. I feel like they came out so good. And that was so easy. Besides, I have a scar obviously through this one. So don't judge. That just makes me feel so much more put together and better about myself, even though my skin is like really bad right now and I'm really pale. At least my eyebrows look good. I just really don't wanna do my makeup, but I have to pre-film a bunch of like my sponsorships for the next few weeks since I'm traveling. Should I just do it with no makeup on? Okay, I put a crew neck on. I made a matcha for the road. I got these like travel cups. I have everything I need. Let's go. Guys, there's like people here. Like enjoying the beach. It's so cloudy though. This is so satisfying. Oh my god, no, I can't. She's, she's struggling. <laughs> I think there's a leak. I feel one with nature. Oh my god, there's a hole in the pipe. Good morning. It's Wednesday now. I leave for my trip tomorrow. I have things I need to get done today. Also, I just burnt my neck with my straightener. I don't know if it left a mark, but it hurts. 
I literally was like going like this, like to the under parts, and I just right on my neck. I have a meeting right now in person. I'm a little bit nervous. I'm definitely gonna have a burn there that's gonna look like a hickey. That's so unfortunate. But today we have to pack. We have to get ready for our trip. We have to do all that good stuff. And I'll talk to you more after my meeting. I have to leave in like 10 minutes. Okay, I just got back from my meeting and it went fantastic. And now I just change into comfy clothes. I'm literally wearing linen pants and a tank top because it's so hot outside and sunny. And I think I'm gonna walk right now and then go sit at a cafe to edit the video that you're watching right now. Or actually I might break this video up into two parts because I've been filming for like a week and I talk so damn much. So maybe I'll just make it two parts so that I don't have to edit as much before my trip. Also my package from Bath and Body Works came with my wall plugins of that rose water and ivy scent. My apartment smells heavenly. I hope that this smell like imprints into all my clothes, into my very being, into my bed, into everything I own so that I can just smell like this at all times. I hope it like comes out of my pores. I hope my sweat turns into rose water and ivy. It was literally pouring rain this morning. Now look outside at the sky. Literally perfectly blue skies. I'm wearing a tank top. So we're going outside. Really on FaceTime. I need to pack my computer. I'm sitting at a cafe right now, editing my video. Um, and I got a latte. It's the worst coffee I've ever had in my life. And I'm not usually that picky. And it also just spilled on my pants because the lid doesn't fit on it properly. And it tastes like battery acid. That's why I need to stop buying drinks, but I just want to be able to sit at cafes without buying anything. Is that too much to ask? Okay, I just came home really quick to make dinner. And I took my face makeup off because I am just having like the worst skin right now ever around my mouth. I don't know what's happening. So I decided to take my makeup off so that it can breathe. Um, but I'm gonna go back out and go on a walk because I didn't really walk around. I finished editing my video and now I'm just like in a mood right now <laughs> where I just like need to be out of the house and like getting exercise and I made a new playlist. I'm gonna listen to it. And then I'm gonna come home and I have my packing to do. I have filming to do. I have shit I need to get done before I leave tomorrow. But I feel myself like getting in a bad mood and I'm like, no, no. We're gonna go on a walk instead. Good morning, everyone. I don't know what the last thing I filmed was yesterday. I ended up driving all the way to the beach and walking around there by myself and just really thinking. And then I drove with my top down and was so nice out at sunset. I came home after that and like did some like chores around the house to get ready for my flight today. Currently, I just made a to-do list on a napkin. I have to do my dishes, clean out my fridge, take out my trash, take the thumbnail for this video and the video before this, film a TikTok, pack, finish editing this vlog, and then upload them both and schedule them to go live while I'm on vacation. So I have quite a few things to do. And I'm currently taking the morning to myself to journal and drink my coffee because I woke up at 6.15 this morning. I actually love this new sleep schedule I have. I think I'm going to try to keep up with it. Honestly, on vacation, it's probably going to get ruined. But when I get back, I really do like waking up by 7 o'clock. My days have felt so productive and long. The sun was just rising. I opened my windows. My coffee is really good today. And I'm journaling. So I'm feeling really good. Even though we have a lot to get done today, we need to start off with a slow, stress-free morning. My flight is at 6 p.m. So I don't have to get to the airport till like 4.30. So we have a full day. And I have like 50 pimple patches on trying to fix my skin before this trip. Okay, I just finished doing my makeup because I had to film a little sponsorship and take thumbnails. I haven't taken the thumbnails yet. I did film the sponsorship, but now I think I want to pack because the thought of packing is stressing me out because I don't know what I want to bring. And then Destiny was like, can you please bring extra clothes for me? Because she's at college and she's like, I'm sick of my outfits. <laughs> Last time we went on a cruise together, my closet was like the community closet and we were all wearing the same outfits on rotation. All our Instagram posts were wearing the same dress. <laughs> Ignore the mess on my floor. I told myself I was just going to bring a carry-on size bag, but I think I might have to go with this one because especially if I'm bringing extra clothes. And also I like to have options. I never check a bag though, cause I hate waiting a baggage claim and I'm always scared it's gonna get lost. But my flight's literally an hour. So if they manage to lose it. So the themed nights are an all white night and a formal night. Here are all my dresses. And yet I'm still like, I have nothing to wear. Girl, please. Okay, I just finished picking out the dresses I'm gonna bring. I'm 100% most definitely gonna have to add the bag on because I picked out 12 dresses for a four day cruise or five day cruise. You have to ignore my room, okay? We're close enough now. You can see my bra on the floor. Do I care? No. I'm allowing myself to bring like this many dresses because Destiny asked for options. 
And you know what? I'm just generous. It's not for me. It might be for me. Always bring your favorite staple little black dress. Mine's from Opali, I think. Yeah, it's my favorite. I bring it everywhere because you never know when you're gonna need a little black dress. You always need one. Honestly forgot what like all my bathing suits look like. And this is so exciting to look through. I have so many new ones. Okay, this one is an immediately yes. Where's the top? Here it is. I also got this one from Target and it has like shells on it. Okay, I chose a lot of bathing suits. Again, have options. I think there's like six here. This one is from Serendipity. It's brown. I've never worn it before, but it's stunning. I decided I'm going to be semi-organized and use packing cubes for like the small stuff like bathing suits and underwear because I hate when that stuff just gets all thrown around in the bag, so. Oh, I'm so happy right now. I was curling my hair. Um, I don't know why. I just feel like more put together when I do that. And I just got a package in the mail and it's my swimsuit that I ordered specifically for the cruise. And it came in perfect timing. I'm so happy. It's from Black Bow Swim. It's this blue eyelet. Oh my God, I'm so excited to wear this. I've also just been opening your guys' letters. This one is from, I hope I'm saying this right, Heloisa. Thank you so much for writing from Portsmouth, England. Also from Jaina. Thank you guys so much for writing to me. I love your letters. This is going on my fridge because it's the cutest thing. Your beautiful soul ignites peace in my life. I am not gonna be able to find a boyfriend that meets my standards because you guys write me these beautiful love letters every single day that I read and I just don't think a man will ever be able to amount to like the amount of love that I'm shown. And I'm so lucky. Opening this PO box was like the best thing I've ever done because being able to like read and feel like I like, I know you guys. And also you guys are just so nice to me. <laughs> like, I just am so grateful for you. And I know, hope you know that everything you guys write to me, I also feel the same way about you. And I'm hanging this on my fridge. I was literally about to walk out the door cause Kylie's here to pick me up to go to the airport. And I literally almost forgot to pack a book with me or two books. I was gonna bring two books and I almost forgot. Am I insane? I think I'm gonna bring one from the shelf in my room because these are books like I wanted to get to this year and I haven't yet. So if it's the only book I have with me on the cruise, then I'll have to read it. I'm like in the mood for something sad, even though I'm gonna be on vacation. Not sad, but like deep. And I, I kind of want to go Beautiful World, Where Are You? by Sally Rooney, or should I go Conversations with Friends? I think I'm gonna go Conversations with Friends because it's a paperback, so it's easier to travel with. And I've been wanting to read this for so, so long. So this will finally get me to read it. Oh, that's terrible angle. I'm putting it in my carry-on. I have to go downstairs because Kylie's literally here. So, bye. Unpopular opinion, but I love being at the airport only when I'm alone. I already got through security in two seconds. And I can just stroll around. I'm just gonna go find my gate get some food. I swear nobody thrives more at an airport than an independent girl on her own. Okay, there are people all around me, so I'm gonna try to keep this short, but I think I'm gonna end the video here. I started another one immediately after this, so stay tuned because I vlogged basically the entire month of March and I'm just splitting it up in different segments. So if you wanna watch the cruise vlog and all that, it will come right after this. If you wanna follow me on my other social media, see all my travel pictures, they're linked down below as always, and I'll see you in my next video very, very soon. Bye.